Hello, YouTube. Hello, hello, hello. I am going to be playing a classic RPG, or at least to me, it's classic. It's called Shining the Holy Ark. Very awesome game. I loved this game back in the day. And uh, I wanted to play it, so I figured, heck, I'll just go ahead and stream it, too. So, we get started here. This was on the Sega Saturn, guys. A lot of people didn't get to play it because they didn't have a Sega Saturn. Awesome game. Alright, let's go ahead and set up our character. No, 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 no. Let's see. Alright. Gotta get used to what the confirm button is here. Oh, just enough characters to make the name what I wanted to. Beautiful. Classic game, guys. Sega Saturn. Freaking classic. Are you sure that Rhodey is holed up inside the mine? Yeah, I saw him with my own eyes. He ran in with that big sword of his strapped across his back. The captain and the others went in after him, but... That explains it. No wonder you were the only one out here when we arrived. You don't think... I wonder if the captain will come back out to get us. It's been quite a while since the mine was shut down. There are probably lots of creepy things running around in there by now. Yeah, I wonder where those mercenaries are. Hey, look over there. Yep, that's them, alright. Looks like they made it. Heh, we may not have to go into the mine after all. Those approaching must be... Forte, the sorcerer, and his partner Melody, the shaman. Uh, I didn't read the rest. Look, there's three of them. Who's the swordsman? Why, it's me. <laughs> I know that guy. He's Napalm, a mercenary who's starting to make a name for himself. They have assembled quite a team. Rhodey doesn't stand a chance. Forte and Melody are a strong pair. By adding in a swordsman. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, I don't know what Rhodey did, but he's sure going to pay for it. I heard a rumor that Rhodey was involved in a power struggle at the palace, and these three were assembled by the Enchantress, Relix, to hunt, to, I'm sorry, to track down Rhodey. That sounds strange. Strange? What do you mean? I heard that Sabato, the sage of the anti-enchantress faction, had employed some mercenaries to find Rhodey. Sabato was stripped of all his power by Relix, so therefore he couldn't. Who was he supposed to have hired? Lisa, the female paladin, and the dragon warrior Beso. I don't like the name Lisa for a paladin. That it's just kind of a Oh well, let's keep moving. At least they would be better than any of these mercenaries. Keep it down. They'll be here shortly. We're already here. Exactly who's supposed to be better than us? If we were after you, you'd be dead by now. We were told this was urgent. So we took a shortcut or two to get here faster. So this is it. The mine where Rhodey has gone into hiding. So the reason so few of you in Enric soldiers are out here is that the rest 
went in after Rhodey, right? Well, at least some of you have courage. What? Are you mocking us? How many? What did you say? He's asking about Rhodey's group. How many of them are there? Ten. Huh. Could be interesting. Uh, no. I meant he's in there alone. What? Alone? We could have taken care of this by ourselves. Why did we need to bring him? Uh-oh. We're all aware of your reputation, but don't underestimate Rhodey. He's a very crafty adversary and possesses some very powerful magic. Well, whatever. There'll be time to discuss splitting the take later. Alright, so it's kind of like a dungeon crawler, guys, for anybody who doesn't know. There was like a Sega Genesis game, um, Shining in the Darkness, I think it was called before this. Well, Rhodey is somewhere in this mine and we've got to find him. Why don't you take point? Yeah, since you're the mighty swordsman, you lead the way. Agreed? Yes, I like this. I like these little emotes. I knew you'd, be, you'd see it our way. We'll be right behind you. Alright, now, let's figure out how to get through this dungeon. Yeah, these controls are going to take a, a little second to get used to. Uh, check magic possessions. Check, I guess, to talk to him. All oh, the support troops have arrived. Rhodey went that way. Please hurry or he'll get away. Okay, so it's obviously just keeping me going the correct way here. Right. Thought I would have ran into a monster by now. Better looks to be an exit. Let's see if this guy's got any. He's got to get out of the way. Welcome, mercenaries. You all look well. He's in there. I love these old school graphics, man. Well, get going. All right, all right, all right. I guess we're gonna go on in. Welcome! So you are the chosen ones to join me in spinning the threads of destiny. Join you? Spin the threads of destiny? You must be Rhodey, right? Why do you say such strange things? What do you mean by spinning the threads of destiny? Wait a minute. There are three of you. You aren't the one sent by Sebado, are you? You're those bloodthirsty mercenaries summoned by that hag, Relix. And it's nice to meet you, too. By the way, what gives you the right to call anyone bloodthirsty? We have been sent here by direct orders from the King of Enric to exterminate the rat who fled into this mine. And that rat is you, Rhodey. A rat? What a joke. So my potential exterminators, I take it you won't just leave quietly if I ask nicely? Nope, nope. What the heck are you saying, Napalm? There's a huge reward- Oh, I meant no, I'm not gonna leave. <laughs> my bad, my bad. I know each of you are confident in your skills, but do you really think you can defeat me? I guess the only way to find out is to try me. Here he comes. Assume your positions. All right, first battle, here we go. <laughs> I have no idea how this goes, all right. I don't remember at all. All right, looks like this is a pretty simple fight. Well, we got items, defend, magic. I uh, doubt, yep, I don't have any magic. I bet, I bet the female, uh, what was her name? I bet Melody has some magic though. All right, fight, and Melody, see what she's got. 
She can heal. Alright, cool, cool. Do we have any items? Yeah, looks like I got some herb. That's to heal, I'm pretty sure. Got her stuff she's got equipped, okay. Let's go ahead and get her to attack. What can he Oh, he's gonna blaze. Let's do that. Let's he's a little fire wizard. Alright. Now we're talking. Look at these sweet graphics, I love it. Oh my god, our hit points are really small right now. Alright, so, um, substitute, I wonder what that means. I guess when you get more party members, maybe. Alright, so we're gonna have him attack, we're definitely gonna need a heal here. Because she, in one hit, almost died. Let's heal Melody. Bam. Three points of damage! Brutal fire, don't hit Melody. Oh my god. Oh my. Are you freaking kidding me? Alright, this ain't good, guys. This ain't good. <laughs> First fight. They didn't play back in the day, man. They did not play. Alright, go easy, dude. Go easy. I just started the game. Go easy. Alright, alright. All right, all right, all right, all right. We definitely can't res yet, um, so let's let's do Blaze again. I wasn't paying attention at the damage last time. Let's see. Let me pay attention this time. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Nine points. Oh, critical hit. Man, I wish you wouldn't have killed the healer immediately, dude. Alright, so it looks like Forte's going first, so I'm gonna let him use the hill. Seems like he's been moving quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Alright, alright. Woo! Woo! Alright, we got him. We got him. What a disappointment. However, I'm not finished yet. Not until my destiny is fulfilled. Rhodey has been defeated. Got some experience. Uh oh. It's not good. Looks like it's little little that's not my frame rate, that's actually <laughs> it's actually how it does that. Something crashed into the uh, mines here. Some aliens, maybe? It's bad timing to be invaded by aliens. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? creepy nice oh he's been possessed this is not good This is such a classic game. I love these old school graphics. Napalm! Whoa. Creepy. Napalm! Dude, you're freaking me out. Guys. Guys.
You are the chosen ones to join me in spinning the threads of destiny. I have need of blood, thirsty mercenaries. Leave this place. Oh, he has no need. I'm sorry. Do you really think you can defeat me? I mean, like, is this the exact same? Nope, nope. I should have never been born. No one could possibly understand my pain. What is going on? I will not let you inherit the spirit. Who are you? One of the chosen who will spin the threads of destiny? Napalm! What does the Creator want from us? Napalm! I have no desire to resurrect the Thousand Year Kingdom. Napalm! This is freaking weird. <laughs> oh, it's the little alien dude. Are you alright? But obviously the answer to that is no. I asked the wrong question. Your life's eternal... Oh, your life's eternal flame is almost gone. We must hurry. We are the spirits willed into being by the Creator. You three have been accidentally caught up in the struggle between the forces of life and death. Oh sweet, he's bringing us back to life or something. Rhodey sust- oh that's Rhodey, that's- that was the bad dude. Rhodey sustained brain damage from the falling rocks, oh jeez. As a result, he suffers from amnesia and can't remember anything, leaving us with no time to waste. Classic, he has amnesia. So he won't remember he's a bad guy. We spirits have the power to heal. He can be restored if we possess his body. Then we will likely oh, he will likely make a full recovery. That's great. Well, technically, I killed Melody, but... Melody is in critical condition! Her ribcage has been crushed, and a fragment has punctured her lung. However, we will help heal her as well. She regained consciousness for a brief moment earlier, and witnessed one of the evil spirits possessing her partner. Unfortunately, there is nothing we can do to alleviate those emotional scars. The spirit will control Rhodey until he recovers from his injuries. He'll regain his magic and abilities as well. Melody is able to act on her own free will. We will not affect her freedom. You are in critical condition as well. We feel responsible for you since the cause of all your injuries was our escape pod. And... I have need for a body too. If I remain here among this evil, I will perish. Remember that you that you three whose bodies have been imbued with spirits cannot be separated, even though you were once enemies. Uh oh. They all have agreed. I want you to remember that too. I mean he's not gonna remember that he was evil anyway. This is gonna be alright. I remember fighting you, but I can't remember why. Okay, suddenly this is not working. Here we go. 
Maybe it's because of that rock falling on my head. I can't remember. Since we're all in the same situation, just as the spirit said, it's meaningless to fight with Rhodey now. As long as they occupy our bodies, it's best that we work as a team. Although I seem to have lost all my equipment and forgotten my fighting skills. That's freaking convenient. I guess I should be glad that I'm still alive. Since I can't see any reason to stick around in this mine, let's find our way out of here. Napalm, let's go. I don't think we can depend on Rhodey right now, so why don't you take the lead and let's go try to find Forte. Since the evil spirit has recently possessed his body, we may still have time. Alright. Before I begin uh, dungeon searching here. Welcome everybody that's watching this old school classic. Um, Alright, let's see if we can get out of here. Take a look around. Dang, he spins too fast. Carefully looked at the rock. Oh, something came out of it. A little bug or something. I don't think it was of any kind of use. <clears throat> look at the rock. Rock looks very heavy. All right, cool. Now let's try to get out of here. Well, this obviously looks like the way. Or not. I bet it looks heavy. Oh no, I got something sweet. Right. How do I... Let's see if I can figure out how to get to my menu. Here we go. Um, maybe tactics? Status. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Um, alright. The aliens did fully heal me, it looks like. That's good. That's good. Hang it. Gotta, like, single tap the button or it, like, spins. Let's see if we got anything in here. Check the jar. It was completely dark inside. Well, that's no good. That's no good, guys. Oh, snap. All right. Cool. All right, Melody. Don't get hit, all right? You stay in the back and just heal, man. You're a healer. Just stay cool. Let's just, let's just let her defend until we need her to heal, okay? I'm not one of those kind of tanks where I make the healer really get out there and fight. You know what I'm saying? She's like really easy to die for now. We'll strengthen her up. We'll level her up. Okay, I do have three healing items. That's good. Um, and I also want to see it takes two MP. She has 12. That's good. That's that's fair. All right, we're going to defend her. I love these kind of games, though. I love dungeon crawlers. They're, they're a lot of fun to me. Ghost has been defeated. You got 19 gold. We got a little bit of experience. Not much. Anything helps when you're, you know, 15 minutes into the game. Oh, warning. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to check out the rest before I try that area out. And I'm not going to leave yet. If that's really the exit right there, I need to level up a little bit. These games tend to be really hard. I don't think these ghosts are much of a threat. Now that I've fought one. Um, but you know, I'm not just gonna walk right out of here that quickly. I'm gonna I'm gonna fight a few of these ghosts. I gotta at least level up one time. And we we need some gold, I'm sure, too. Ooh, ooh, quit hitting her, man. Come on. Alright, alright. This is where the garb was earlier. Oh, we got a new kind of... We got a little bat here. 
cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna defend with her just in case. Ooh, dang. They're really after my healer here. Use magic so we don't have to waste our uh, items. Jeez, leave my healer alone. Oh, that was a that was a power attack. It's like a crit, I guess. Very cool, very cool. That's weird, you can do like a little almost turn. Alright. How did I get to that menu? Here we go. Magic. Let's heal her up a little bit. There we go. It's a little better. It's a little better. <clears throat> I'm afraid there'll be like crazy mobs over there. I haven't even saved yet. I don't want to die yet. Just come on. Go back and forth. Grab a ghost or a... I need to level up here. At least one time. Dang. You dodge my attacks, dude. Come on now. All right. Come on, did we get enough to level up? We're really not getting much for these guys. All right, I might just go ahead and leave. We can always come back. You can always come back if it gets a little rough. Maybe I'll get one level up here. Let's see. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I love these animations, man. So cool looking. Alright. Well, at least my main guy leveled up once. And just in case, I really don't know what's going to happen. I, I haven't played this game since I was a kid. So let's go ahead and just in case... Get some hills going. Before I walk out of here. Alright, there we go. This probably has a while before we actually exit. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. We got two. All right. We're going to be all right. But what I am going to do... You know, maybe that counts as one. It didn't have me select. You know what? Let's go back. Let's uh, go ahead and use some of this. I'm always going to have to heal her, man. It's interesting that I can't choose which one I hit. Man. Two. Two experience. That's freaking terrible. Here we go, here we go. All right. Anybody in the chat really like when they used to do this kind of graphics? You know what I'm saying? Like... Almost like the Donkey Kong country effect, where it's like, almost 3D, you know? Like they scanned it in. Nah, 
let's just have her attack. Alright. Man, experience here is lame. See if we get anything. Nope, it was dark inside. There was nothing in there. Alright. These guys are pretty easy. Power attack. The ghosts are the best experience, and there are only three. Alright, looks like we're leaving. Or we're about to. Okay, alright, alright. We got two. Okay, yeah, I can pick. Weird. I, I didn't notice that before. Could have sworn it wouldn't let me pick a second ago. Whatever. You know what? How much MP does he have? Not a lot. Might as well burn that up. I, I think we're pretty close to leaving this place. Get her on the bat. <clears throat> Maybe his uh, little wizard spell. Knock out that uh, ghost. Pretty good damage. Pretty good. Alright, dude. Don't dodge my attacks. Come on now. I like that. I like it when it says it like that. Received. He received a damage. Like, thank you. I received that 12 points of damage. Alright. A dead end, yep. Alright, see? If it's the same thing, if it's the same kind of mob, you don't get to pick. Um. Let's see if we can heal Rhodey up here. I mean, you would think they would have leveled up after all this. Little fairy. Look at that little, that little angel fairy guy. I wonder if this is the kind of game where you gotta buy the new spells. I really don't remember. a lot of gold. Oh snap! Guess what? Melody is freaking awesome now. Oh crap. New mob. That is a cool zombie. I like that. I'm totally down with that. Um, <clears throat> so here's the deal. I'm a little scared of this guy. I don't know if I was prepared for this. I wonder if a hill will work on him. I doubt it. And why is Melody in the middle now? Let's see if zombies are, uh... Maybe fire is, like, their weakness. Some games. Pretty good. Not normal, though. I don't think it was anything special. Okay, he doesn't hit too hard, or at least he didn't hit my main guy too hard. I think, I, I, I think this guy's no big deal. Oh, nice! She got a little, she got a little regen from that. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. 
<laughs> Aha. Oh, yeah. Okay, alright. Head down this way. A lot of mobs. I'm glad I didn't, like, sit in that one area and farm all my freaking stuff away. go man there you go he does a lot of power attacks all right hey what's up nfct this is um shining the holy ark it's an old sega saturn game oh yeah level up Oh, we're practically invincible now. We're practically invincible. We're freaking level two, man. Okay, all right. This is way long. Okay, there's the exit. I actually remember this part. All right, all right, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Getting out of here. And I just want to mention, like, once I get out of this dungeon, you'll kind of see what I mean. But before you see it, I just want to kind of mention that when I was a kid, that this game was like Skyrim to me. Hey, Albert's Odyssey is awesome. Same kind of game as this, actually. This is way older than Albert's Odyssey, though. Albert's Odyssey's cool. Alright, alright. We'll have to play that on this channel sometime, actually. I love dungeon crawlers. Let's make sure we get the bat. Well, dang. But I knew he was going to do all that. Let's see what happens, because I selected the bat for the last person to attack. Okay. It does automatically. You know, some RPGs, if the thing's dead, it would just still try to hit them anyway, you know? Uh, and just so you know, um, there was a game called Golden Sun on the Game Boy Advance, if anybody remembers that game. It's the same people that made Golden Sun that made this game. Um, they weren't called Treasure yet, they were, um, but it's the same people. Appreciate that, NFCT, man. Appreciate that, dude. A lot of people don't like it, um, you know. I'm probably technically hurting my, uh, subscription rate, but I don't care. It's just me. I'm just gonna do me. Whoa, I, I know for a fact that we did not come through here earlier. This is not good. I am already lost. It's alright, we're gonna make it out of here. Okay, so these two are considered one thing even though you gotta kill them individually. It's like groups of enemies in this game. We're gonna take care of the bat first. Well, actually, actually, let's go ahead and let's use the fire on these beetles and then we'll have my other two guys attack the bat yeah man NFCT it's nice to know there are people who um, don't hate me for that you know and you know like I said I just gotta do just gotta do what I do eight points of damage all right now let's take care of these guys Probably should have also looked at the uh, inventory situation. Like, is this one of those games where I can only carry so many items? Is it weight-based? Is it unlimited? I doubt it. Does it split the inventory between each character? I'm getting a lot of gold. A lot of gold. I'm not going to the warning places. That's just... I'm going to actually believe them that I shouldn't be there. Two ghosts. All right.
All right, NFCT man. Good luck with your Santa situation, man. And, and have a Merry Christmas, man. Merry Christmas to everybody. I probably should have healed. I think we'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be all right. We'll kill him with this one, then I'll heal. Got it, got it. Okay, now let me... Yeah, let's keep using the magic. I want to save my, my uh, healing items. It's like last resort stuff. So let's go ahead and heal everybody. Oh, her, I'm pretty sure her heal got a lot better when she leveled up. It was like definitely not that good originally. Let's check one more thing. I want to see... What is all this? Reserve team. Commands. Customize. Let's check the status. Uh, points to level up 3. That's what I was looking for. 55 and 37. So my main character is about to be level 3. That's good. Um, what we got here in the customized? Message speed. Yeah, we want to put it here. Uh, window type. What? I don't really care, friend. We'll leave all that. Yep, that's it. I love the Sega Saturn though, guys. It's my favorite old school console. It's so underrated. There's so many great little games that nobody's played. Check the jar. It was dark. No freebies. Dude, I'm about to level up. This is it. I'm gonna level up after this, for sure. I like that in this game they took the time to actually show the other characters come out and do their little attack. It's the details that matter. There we go! There it is! Oh, oh, oh. oh, look at the stats going up. I love seeing stats rolling up. I love it. I love it. Brings such joy to my heart. Alright, I'm gonna get this bat. And by the way, guys, on this channel later on, for anybody, for anybody that was around back in the Sega Saturn's day, and you say the word RPG, I already know what comes to your mind. Panzer Dragoon Saga, and we will be playing that on this channel later on. I wanted to fire up this, um, and, uh, because I love this game. This was my first dungeon crawler game when I, I was young. I think around 95, maybe, this game came out. And I got it, maybe? Something like that, anyway. Don't quote me. Man, this first little intro dungeon, though, dude. I love how back in the day, they didn't play, man, at all. Like, they're like, oh, you want to play this game, huh? Well, here you go. Fight a boss and then make your way through this ridiculously large dungeon. I love it. You know, if this was a if this was a game made like more recently, it probably would be like press A to select things. When you read the word attack, that means attack. That means you can hurt your enemy. You know, like that to tell you every freaking stinking little detail. It's annoying. Like leave a little mystery for us. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. This is sweet. Oh wait, am I? Oh 
never mind. Sorry. I thought it was a cutscene. But let me show you. I, this was like Skyrim to me <laughs> back then in like 1995 because I was like, oh my gosh. Are you serious? I can walk all around on the outside. Dang it, man. Gotta get used to that. You gotta like tap it. You gotta tap it. Oh, there's no... Really? I went off the beaten path and... Nothing? Let's take a look at that view. <laughs> Man, when I hit that wall, there's like some dramatic music. Let's see if it does it again. Nope, nope. Nope. Huh! Dramatic! Alright, let's see what we got in here. Am I seriously not through this dungeon yet? Holy crap! Holy crap! There's more! Hang on, I bet you can save out here. I bet you can save. That's why they did a little outside area, I bet. Holy crap, I thought it was out of the dungeon. Alright, um... Where would that be? Tactics? Status? Commands? No, I want them to be manual. Um... No, I don't think we can save yet. This game is brutal. All right, all right. Well, it is what it is. What can you do? Just got to keep moving. All right. This dungeon on the way in was definitely not this long. Wait a minute, that that was where we came into the dungeon at, though. I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong. Yeah, it was. I must have missed something. I must have missed something. This is where we came into the dungeon. We can't go back now because of the, um... Well, because the game doesn't want us to. So, alright, alright, alright. I missed something out here. Let's see. Got some wood. This is where, like, they were waiting for us at the beginning there. When I first started streaming. At the beginning of the game, so... Oh, I'm retarded. I see it now. Dang it. Alright, here we go. A little dumb mistake there. Alright, so let's go to the village. No, that's not what... Check out how cool this village looks. I actually remember this really well. Because I, I was so impressed. I love it. I love it. It reminds me of like... Uh, what was it? Um, the EverQuest Before Morrowind. Daggerfall, I think? Did I say EverQuest? I meant Elder Scrolls. The area around Desire is dangerous. North of here is the Cursed Mine. And Enric Forest in the south is haunted. I'm not scared, though. Well, maybe a little. There was a great war in the forest a long time ago. So now only ghosts and stuff live there. That place is creepy. Just drawing in the sand. With this little stick. So cute. You are the mercenaries who went into the mine, aren't you? Since the outlaw was killed in the cave-in, the survivors went back to Enric Castle. Apparently, some of the regular soldiers were killed as well. And because of that, they've closed the border. So nobody can leave. Check the area. What we got here? I remembered that. I freaking remembered that. An incubus named Latano was found. So these are kind of like little summons. And there's hidden randomly throughout the world. If I remember correctly, anyway. Or 
or or maybe they come out when a certain thing happens. I'm not I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember. You fought in the mine, didn't you? I can tell. Were you scared? I bet you were, and you know why? I was told that mine is cursed. A long time ago, when people were digging in the mine, they found a passage leading to the God Speak. Finding that passage was the start of many bad things. Monsters, cave-ins. It was horrible, so they had to shut down the mine. Interesting. Hey, what's up, Grim? What's up, man? I want to play this game, dude, because this is my childhood. I love this game. And, um... You know, not a lot of people got to see it because it was only on the Sega Saturn. Alright, so we got the tool shop. We got Mr. Logan. Mr. Logan? He looks like one of those guys at the beginning. Let's see what we got here. A smart way to fight in danger... Oh, sorry. In dungeons is to find pixies that live in various places and summon them at the moment monsters appear. If the right pixies are used against the right foes, the pixies will attack them before they get to you. And their attack power increases as the number of pixies grows. And I think they can help you find treasure, too. Okay, okay. So I was kind of right. It's kind of like a summon. Yeah, Bill B. Sega Saturn was so ahead of its time, dude. I understand that the PlayStation 1 slaughtered it. I'm willing to accept that, even though Sega Saturn's my favorite console of all time. But the thing is, the Sega Saturn was more powerful. If you look at the actual specs... It was just difficult to create for. If the Sega Saturn would have had a bigger platform, if it would have, like, had more people buying it, developers would have invested more time into it, and it would have been so cool. So cool. The forest to the south is a place where the last battle was fought during the Enric War. The graveyard behind the lake seems to be all that's left of the war. I was told not to go near the graveyard. People say that ghosts of warriors long gone would appear and challenge you. Although I don't have a lot of money, I want to buy so many things. What shall I buy? Alright, we got weapons, we got tools. Tools and probably items, maybe? Hi, we have many travel supplies here. If you are going on an adventure, you may want some of our items. Well, okay. I mean, yeah, let me see them. From herbs to antidotes, we have what you need. Take a look around. Here we go. Oh, they got stuff on sale. Oh, what do we got for sale? Are you looking for a bargain? I'm sorry, delivery's late. Please come back later. Oh, man. Yes, I'll still look around. Repair. Oh, you have to repair your stuff? How can I see, uh, its condition, though? That's kind of crazy. Alright. Let's see what you got for sale, lady. Okay, that is a revival. I remember that. That's how you revive people. Um, that's obviously... We need some of that. That's for, like... Oh, so each person has their own inventory. So let's give Melody the healing things. We got quite a few of those. We need at least one of these. And I'm gonna give that to the main guy. He's probably the least likely to die. Alright, and I would like to buy more items, but I, I might be able to get some equipment. Let's check out the armor. Weird specialty store, it sells armor, blah blah blah, protect your body. Okay, dude, like, obviously, I want to do that. Hello and welcome, we have all kinds of armor for sale, feel free to look around. Yes, I, didn't you buy something earlier? What kind of armor do you need? I've never been here in my life, dude. Scale armor, feather robe, scale suit, bronze shell. Got a shield, we got some gloves. Okay, so please show me some stats, dude. Seriously? Okay, well, before I buy it, I can see it, so they can't use it. That ups him 25. That's an expensive piece of armor. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. It's my main character. And I really gotta get um 
Really gotta get my healer a little bit of protection here. The ring mail. Oh, it automatically he'll buy it off of you. Sure. Sure, old buddy, old pal. Are you looking for something else? Yes, I am. I need something for my healer. And I'm pretty sure this is a Japanese game. The healer probably wears robes. I'm just taking a wild, a wild guess. Who should I give this to? To Melody, please. Yes, I was correct. You want to equip it now? Yes, I do. Oh, she looks tougher already. That is fantastic. All right, we got the silk robe. Um, yeah, yeah, sell the silk robe. I don't need that no more. I'm done with it. You looking for something else? Let's see how much money I got. Down to 300. Haven't upgraded my weapons. I can always go back in there and, and fight a couple of bats, though. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know... I don't know what the other dude wears. He couldn't wear that or that. I just sold Skell Suit Armor. So hopefully, that's not what he wears. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's maybe this. No! Oh, it's not! Oh, man. I sold the Skell Armor. Nope, I'm, I'm done. I gotta look at it. I, I'm sorry, dude. I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to toughen you up later. Let's check out the weapons shop. What do we got? Oh, that's why. I get it now. I get it. It's like I'm not close enough to buy. You see what I'm saying? Welcome to my shop. What weapons were you looking for? Take your time and look around. What you got, bro? The Shoto? The Middle Sword? And the bronze staff. Okay, so that one guy was doing ninja attacks, right? Um, what's his name? Uh, Rody? Yep, 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 yep. Alright, how much does this stuff cost? How much was this crap? Okay, alright, 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 alright. We can only afford one. Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with my main character. I gotta go with the main guy. I'm a little selfish. Have to upgrade myself before I worry about everybody else. You know what I'm saying? I gotta worry about myself. The short sword. Yeah, nobody else can use that. Um, how much money do we have left? Yeah, we're broke. All right. All right, we've done our upgrading. Go ahead and leave. All right, so th I do like that. Everything in one building. That's convenient, you know? All of our shopping. What we got over here, though? That looks like repair. Or crafting. Yes, blacksmith. Let's see what he's got. It's been a long time since I've seen mercenaries around these parts. So is there anything an old blacksmith can do for you? For you to have come directly to me, you must have found some rare materials. Show me what you have, and I may be able to make something out of them for you. Oh, I see. I see. Well, I don't have rare materials. I just came to see what in the heck you did. I'll make something interesting out of them for you. Okay. All right. I get it. A barrel. Oh, I just stole out of this guy's barrel. Some garlic. Apparently, that's acceptable in this game. Aw. Oh, are you serious? You didn't have nothing in your other barrel? Okay. Alright. So, rare materials. We can go to that guy. Um, what was this place? We didn't go in here. Let's check this out. Dang it. Dang it. Spends too much. Alright. Here we go. Oh, it's locked. Must be somebody's house. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't see that lady. Some of the mercenaries were killed in the cave-in, I hear. You are very lucky to have survived. The only person to survive the cave-in was, um, some sorcerer named Forte? He went back to the castle with the soldiers. Oh, there's our friend. He went to the castle. Alright then. Now we know. That was the clue that we needed. Oh, this is cool music. I really like this. Alright, so we got the village chief here rubbing his beard. We have a torn tornirta. 
It must be very boring for you mercenaries to be stuck here because the border is closed. But please try to be patient. If you get into a fight, it will distress all the people living here in Desire Village. Do you know about the ancient ruins in the South Forest? Nope. It is one of the th is one of three ruins which are located to the east, west, and south of Enric Castle. They say that there is a riddle attached to each ruin. If anyone can successfully solve the three riddles and acquire the three sacred treasures, they can climb up the Tower of Illusion. That would be a mighty accomplishment indeed. Interesting. Interesting. That's what he's sitting there thinking about right now. He's sitting there like, hmm. If only I could solve those three mysteries. That's what's going on. The Storyteller's Mansion is located in the outskirts of Enric. There you will hear about our legends and even the history of our country. My father went there often just to listen to all their tales. Got some lore. Can't just sleep in their bed? I checked it. There is something shining in the darkness under the bed. Do you want to take it? I mean, am I stealing? Look, I, my alignment's supposed to be good. I don't know if this is considered stealing. Well, only one way to find out, even though we haven't saved. One gold coin? That wasn't worth the risk. Oh, crap, it was stealing. What are you doing? Stealing from the village cheap? Oh, crap. What? You come into my house and steal gold coins on the floor? How despicable! Dang it. Um, well, if you are so short of money that you must resort to petty theft, you can have that. However, no matter what happens, don't ever repeat this miserable behavior in the future. No, I've never played Seventh Saga, Bruno. I've never played that. I, I want to say I owned it? Maybe, and I tried it. Maybe it was too hard back then. When I, <laughs> I want to say, I, it rings a bell. Let me just say that. But I definitely not really played it. That's for sure. It was on the regular PlayStation, right? It rings a bell. That's all I know. See what this old guy says. It was a large expedition this time. Were you a part of it? I think I know what you're talking about. They sure made a big fuss over a small task of just catching a few outlaws. I got all excited and thought that war had broken out or something. Alright, he was talking. Whoa. Uh, let's check this tree. Looks suspicious. Nope, oh, nope, nope. Nothing suspicious here. Alright, guys. I think we have pretty much checked out the entire town. Maybe not this house. Yeah, we didn't see this house. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Who's this dude? This is the Mining Town Desire. Many people used to come here to look for gold in the nearby mine in hopes of getting rich. Now, though, the mine is closed and only a few people live here. Yeah, NFCT. Um, so, I meant to already do it, but I haven't. Um, I'm gonna, I've got a Discord. I can go ahead and, um, I can go ahead and link that. I'll have it up tomorrow on my community, on my channel. So if you're subscribed, you can get to that. Uh, go, I'll have the link to join the Discord. And we're going to start organizing people who are interested in um, being in a guild together. Um, there's lots of options. And if you're not interested in, in my particular guild I'll be doing, then that's fine. I can help direct you to other ones that are already gathering as well. But I'll have that Discord up tomorrow. Um, and I'll start talking about it in my videos just in case you miss it. Um, I'll start dropping it in the in the videos at the bottom or something. So um, that way we can all just kind of gather. If you're not interested, no hard feelings. But if you want to, you know, it'll give us a place to hang out, chat, and and discuss. All right, looks like I got some a chicken dinner, a quick chicken. That's what I need in my life. A chicken that you just. It, you don't have to do any preparation. It's a quick chicken. You just get it out and eat it. That's I need some a quick chicken in my life. That'd be awesome for streaming. I'm like, hold up, guys. Five second break. I'm going to eat a quick chicken. No big deal. Don't need to leave. It's fully prepared. All 
All right, so we're gonna go to the forest of confusion now. You know what, guys? I'm I'm a little terrified. I didn't even did I even rest? <laughs> I didn't see an end. Let me check my stats. I don't want to die. I haven't even saved. How do you save? How do you save this game? I can't die. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. That's not it. It was in tactics and then status. Here we go. Um. Okay. No, we're not fully healed. We didn't get our MP back. Man, now come on now. Come on now, how do you heal? Let's see, um... Did we skip something? We had to skip something. Dang it, quit quit doing that, dude. That was, that was the chief's house. Did we try this house right here? Oh, the pub. Maybe the pub has an inn in it. Okay, we didn't go here. It's gotta be here. It's gotta be. Oh, I love this, man. This looks so freaking cool! Welcome, we have great food and drinks here. Please relax and enjoy yourselves. You must be travelers who got stuck here because they closed the road to Enric. Well, there isn't anything to be done about it until they reopen the gate. Alright, what do we got here? We got Digo. Dang it. We got Hans. We got, oh, look at these cool guys. We got Halfling. I remember this guy. They were talking about him earlier. That's Basso. He's like an amazing warrior. And Lisa, the paladin. Let's see what they got to say. Are you looking for someone to have a drink with? I'm not that kind of woman. Little boys aren't my style. Jeez, lady. Have a freaking beard. Ha ha ha. You're wasting your time. The only thing that will turn her head is the strong, strapping warrior type. Jeez, thanks. That's my actual class, you jerk. I'm a warrior. Yeah, dude, this game does look amazing, man. I, I love this game. This this has held up so well, man. I love the Sega Saturn, man. And, and after I'm done with this game, I'm going to play Panzer Dragoon Saga, which is actually my favorite JRPG of all time. It's much, 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 much underappreciated. Alright, let's talk to Basso here, or Baso. We traveled all the way to this backwater village on the advice of Sabato, the sage of Enric Castle. We were told that if we met with Rodi at the God Speak, they keep saying that, the God Speak. Interesting. We wouldn't find what we were looking for, only to find he died in a cave in. Now we may never know what he meant by that. Interesting. Alright, let's see what Halfling. That is not a halfling. That is not a halfling. I've got to get to Enric. If the border gate is closed, I could try going through the forest. Although I know it's dangerous. Yeah, I, I know I'm supposed to go through the forest. That's telling me. That's telling me to go through the forest. You seem to have a reason to go too, right? Would you like to go with me? After all, there's safety in numbers. Absolutely! Wolf guy who thinks he's a halfling? I thought you would say so. You're staying here, aren't you? I'll visit your room tonight and we'll make plans then. Dude, I don't have a room. Guess I better get one. See what Hans has to say. He's a hobbit. Look at him. Hans the hobbit. I can tell. The skill of the blacksmith in this village won me over, so I decided to work here. I often visit him whenever I find mithril ore. He makes very fine equipment. However, since they closed the border, I can't conduct my business. What am I to do? Classic dilemma. Digo? This village used to be so lively when there was gold here. Such a long time ago. Now it's almost empty. Maybe this guy will get me a room. It is his establishment after all. You must be mercenaries, right? And you look quite skilled. I can tell. It's my business to. Hey, don't look at me like that. If you don't want to talk about it, say so. Here. Have one on the house. Nice. Don't mind if I do. There are some other mercenaries in here too. Over there in the back. The woman is a knight. And the other is a dragon warrior. I heard that they were hired by the sage Saboto to come out and join this expedition. They don't seem to know what to do next now that they've lost that outlaw. 
In the cave? In and the border's been closed down. Oh, in the cave in, my bad. Um, so, they're talking about Rhodey, who's in my party right now. He is not dead. I remember hearing tales about a skilled team of mercenaries consisting of a princess and a dragon. Could it be them? Nah, couldn't be. What would possibly interest a team like that into coming to a backwater place like this? <laughs> couldn't possibly be them. It's them, my friend. It is them. Okay, so... I need to get a room, dude, so Halfling will come. Maybe, maybe we need to talk to her again. Are you looking for someone to have a drink with? Oh, Lord. Same, same dialogue. Same dialogue. Same degrading speech. Oh, my goodness. Degrading. Traveled all the way to this backward village on the bus. Blah, 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 blah. Repeat. 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 Text. Repeat. Ah, go away. All right. So, I don't, I, I, I'm confused. Oh, wait. Front bell. Front bell. Here we go. Are you looking for a room? I'm sorry, but the rooms are not ready yet. Please come back in a little while. Dang it, lady. Dang, she hammered those steps, dude. Alright, so that's just not it's just not an option right now. It's just it's just not possible. So we can't get a room. We're just you know what? We're in big trouble. Well wait a minute. So it is you, Rody. We thought that you had died in that cave in. But you match the description given to us perfectly. Oh crap, they're on to us. They're on to us! I guess you're right, I am alive. Now that you know this, what are you going to do about it? Indeed, what should we do? What's your opinion, Baso? Baso, Baso. First, we should use him to get what we are searching for in the God Speak. Then... Then we can turn Rhodey in at the castle and claim the bounty to supply our travel needs. How about that? Hmm, that doesn't sound like a bad plan at all. Look, Napalm, I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> no crap, man. This is not good. They've ignored us completely. Do you think we can beat them, or are they too powerful? I mean, they're legendary. Did you not hear the people at the beginning of the game talking about how insanely powerful they were? Well, what are you two hirelings going to do? Three on two doesn't bother us at all. Well, it doesn't look like we had much of a choice. Rody, calm down. Calm down, bro! But that's... We haven't had a chance to heal up yet. That's right! We haven't even healed up yet! Listen to the healer. The healer's not ready. The tank doesn't pull. End of story. What are you doing? Oh, crap. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, a little inter-mercenary fight, eh? Well, that will cause problems for our village. Oh, it's the chief. <laughs> it's the chief. The guy that stole the piece of gold off of him, he got all pissed. He's like, oh, my gosh. Are you serious? You're causing trouble again. First you walk in my house. You steal my gold. Now you start fights in the middle of my freaking little village. Okay, let's see what's going on. But that will cause problems for our village. And that will... And that I will not allow. We value peace here. What? What do you mean? We weren't going to... No matter what name you want to give it. Please do not disturb the peace here. Well, putting it that way does put a cramp in our style. So what do you suggest we do? No matter who wins the contest, afterwards, if you both remain in this village, you will run into each other again. And then the cycle will repeat itself. So don't start. Then we should just do the job right the first time, right? Then you won't have that problem. You're quite the argumentative and dangerous individual, aren't you? This is a weird conversation. <laughs> I repeat, do not fight in this village. Wait at least until the border gates open. All right, all right, you win. We will obey your wishes and wait until the gate opens to resolve our differences. What? 
Are you sure? If we let him go now... As long as all of us are stuck in this village, there's no need to make our stay any less comfortable than it is now. I guess. I understand that, but it really pains me to let him go like this. It's only until the gate opens, and it's not as if they can go anywhere either. Can you... Mm, Oh, can you, my playfellows? Well, I guess you're right. We'll let you go for now. However, I look forward to when the gate opens. Well, until next time. I love these graphics, man. They look pretty tough. I would like to avoid fighting with them if we could. Yeah, me too. They're definitely tough customers. We must do something before the gate opens. Alright, so here's the deal. Maybe now I can get a room. I got a hill! Jeez. And maybe to let me save, you know? Listen to her come down steps. Oh, she was not... Okay, okay. Welcome to Desire Village Inn. Our rate is 7 golds per person, so toast 21 gold coins. Whew, good thing I didn't spend all my money. Please enjoy your stay. Alright, alright. Let me save, let me save. Come on now. Come on, I paid good money. Here I am, as I promised. Are you ready to hear me out? This is cool. This is cool. I like this. I don't know if anybody's listening in, so I'll be brief. It's going to be too obvious if we leave the village together. So we'd best split up. Why don't you leave and head for the forest first? I'll follow shortly thereafter and catch up with you. Alright, alright. Do you trust him enough to follow his instructions? Yeah, he's a cool dude. So you'll trust me. Good. I guess you also would rather be going to Enric than waiting for the border to open. Anyway, if you wish to get to Enric, take my advice and go through the forest. Oh, and if we can't find each other, then let's meet at the graveyard, deep inside, okay? Alright, 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 we're gonna meet the graveyard. Oh, and Grim, I'm sorry, I forgot to say earlier, I'm playing Shining in the Holy Darkness. No, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Shining in the Holy Ark. Shining in the Darkness was a Genesis game. It was like the prequel, or the um, original. And these are the only two in this series I believe ever made. Good morning, I hope you had a pleasant sleep. Please come again. Aw, oh, so sweet. Such a sweet lady. Alright, now, we're all healed up. It's time to head into that dark forest. We got our some upgrades. Oops. Wait. Uh, uh, uh. Going wrong way. Here we go. Here we go. Into the forest of confusion. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go, here we go. All right. I, is there a map in this game? I feel like there is. I feel like I remembered using them. Oh, there we go, there is. It's not just like obviously gonna tell you the entire map because that would totally make this game suck. There is, there is fairies to unlock in here too. I like, I'm remembering this as I go. There is like a little path like this, I remember. It's obviously not that one, but there are fairies to unlock in here. I freaking remember. Alright, here we go. I'm not going to say what I think that one monster looks like. It's inappropriate for my channel. I'm going to keep that inside my head. Dang, dude! Overkill.
Oh, good job, Melody. Good job. She avoided it. All right, well, our new, our new equipment's doing a great job. Okay, that's back where we came from. I have a feeling this is not gonna be like I'm just gonna run straight through this dungeon. I'm probably gonna like get pretty far and then have to uh, go back and like rest up and upgrade my gear all the way, I bet. And then I bet I will pummel through it. I could be wrong. But man, that first dungeon was pretty brutal, so it was starting to freak me out. So this is probably much worse. Okay, okay. How did I do that? Okay, we're still, this is still new. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some graphical glitches here. Pond. Okay. Okay. A fairy pond, maybe. Oh. Cool. A wild hound. I like the dungeon, uh, or I mean the, uh, monster design. Interesting. Hey, Merry Christmas, Paul. Merry Christmas, man. Welcome, welcome. Hope everybody's having a great Christmas. So I hope everybody's really enjoying the wind down time here on Christmas Eve. That's what I call this. This is the wind down time. It's getting a little late. It's not too late, but it's time to just relax, you know. Oh crap. Oh crap. Melody's not looking too hot. Not looking too hot, Melody. I don't... Okay. He is pretty quick, so I'm gonna just get him to use one of these herbs he has. Oh, well. Never mind. Good to hear, Paul. Good to hear. This is an, an old RPG from the Sega Saturn days called Shining in the Holy Ark. And it's fantastic. It's a dungeon crawler. Um, so, alright, alright, alright. Let's get Melody to heal herself. Alright. Looking better, looking better, looking much better. These graphical glitches, though. Okay, we still headed towards the pond. That's where I want to go. I want to go to the pond. Do, 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 do. What we got here? Um, that looks like a dead end. Oh, cool. Nice. I'm liking these monsters, man. They're cool. Blue Dragon Grim, I love that game, dude. Fantastic. Back on the 360, man. Made by the original Shigeru Maya... No, that's not his name. Shigeru... What's his name? It's not Shigeru. Um, the Final Fantasy guy. Uh, Sakaguchi. Hironobu Sakaguchi. And Melody's dead. Dang it, Melody. Dang it! Is this guy, like, hitting really hard? I wasn't paying any attention. Let's, uh, let's quit playing around here. This is not the kind of game to be playing around. Gotta pay attention. Oh, yeah, this guy's doing some... Ooh! Ow! Ooh! Not good. All right, all right, all right, all right, 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 right. So, Whew. okay, he didn't have a lot of hit points, but he hits hard. He hits hard. He was doing some pretty big damage there. That was freaking me out, man. Dang it, dude! I already, I already have to use my one and only revive. This is going to be a slow-paced game. I mean, that's a good thing. 
That's a good thing. Whoa. What? That was weird. Might as well. Let's see, did I get a decent amount of gold from those few battles I just did? What did I get here? What did I get here? That's not right. Gold, gold, gold. Here we go. 223. Not really. Not really. But it's enough to do this real quick. I'm gonna have to take this slow. I'm gonna take this slow. This is brutal. Where was that pub at? It was uh, this one, I think? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, but also, um, Grim, Blue Dragon and Lost Odyssey. That I really like Lost Odyssey too. Blue Dragon was cool because it was like the dream team from uh, 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 Chrono Trigger. You had the artist from Dragon Ball Z doing the artwork. Very cool game. Very cool. Kind of similar actually to this kind of art style actually. Very similar. Um, let's go ahead and just rest. Get all of our stuff back. And I'm just going to go in here and go crazy on these guys. I'm not even going to play because I'm going to level up some. So... I'm just gonna go in here using my magic and everything, just, you know, completely balls to the wall. I think that would be the smart thing to do, this particular scenario that I am in. Alright, good morning, da -da -da, pleasant sleep, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I agree, Grim. The massive games where multiple discs, that was the good old days, man. You would get excited, you open it, you're like, dang, four discs! You know. Um, dang it, man. That's, see, I think that I'm... It's just weird the way this works. Alright, go back out. Yeah, exactly, Grim. You felt like you were really getting something, man. And I liked it, too, back in the day, because you kind of knew your progress in the game, sort of. You know? You'd be on this, too, like, well, about a fourth way through, you know? It was almost like getting an, an achievement back in the day. You'd be like, I made it to this, too! People are like, where are you at? I'm on disc too. <laughs> um, why not? It's really not that powerful. That spell. Just leave my healer alone, man. Everybody's... Everybody wants to kill the healer. Alright, right, right. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Man, I like that, I like that. I like that. I like seeing those stats go up. Makes me very happy. sworn I was going towards the pond and suddenly I was at the entrance. There is secret fairies in here. I know they're in here. I also gotta figure out how do you use those fairies for some of these harder fights. I know you can only use them at the beginning. That's what the dude in town said. Go, there we go, there we go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That looks a little 
suspicious. Okay, or not. It's fine, that's fine. What we got here? Does that still say we're going towards the pond? Yes. It's the same way we went earlier. That's to go back to the village. I don't think we went back in here though, did we? Maybe we did. Pond. Oh snap, it's this guy. I'm not gonna play with him this time. Oh, whoa, whoa, she got something new. Hell Blast. Well, let's just give that a little try. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, man. Alright. Worried about Melody, though. Let's get a heal in for him. This guy will probably die this turn, but he might not. Alright then. That's quite a bit of gold too. Alright, Rody. Alright. Alright. Man, these glitches in here are kind of rough. Man, come on! Leave the healer alone! Like, dang! Double hit, man! Not cool! Has he got anything he can do yet? No. No abilities or anything. Alright, whatever, man. Um, I mean, that really doesn't do a lot of damage. I think his attack does more. Um, so what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna heal, hopefully, before he hits me again. It's a little risky. Alright, alright. Woo! Got the heal in. We got it in. That's good. That's good. This game ain't playing around. He hit her again! Leave her alone, dude! She's the weakest one! Why are you being smart and hitting her? I still think the attack's better than that. Now this might be good for him, I just realized. I bet you that I bet you that would tear him up. Let's see what we got here. Show me the numbers. Ah, oh, seven points of damage. What a waste of... What a freaking waste of two... Mana. Okay, we're still headed towards a pond. Um, how are we doing again? I'm trying to check the stats, dude. I'm not I'm trying to look at the tray. Here we go. Alright, um... How are we looking here? How are we looking here? Okay, she needs more healing. Okay, okay. Uh, where's it at? Here we go. There we go. Now we're looking better. Alright, alright, now that I can do that. Oh my god, not you again! <sighs> Alright. Alright. It's okay. We're good. I'm best off just attacking him. Let me pay attention to the damage here. Rody, five points. Okay, so his attack is way better. Alright, alright. And two points. Okay. Alright then. I get it. So seven points is decent. Um, so... That sucks, Rody. Um... I'll go ahead and let you do the Brutal Fire. We'll get her to heal you up.
You know, I haven't even saved yet. There's, like, how do you save in this game? I'm gonna end up dying and getting a game over. <laughs> Now Melody's hurting. This game is brutal. Go and do Hell Blast. And go ahead and heal yourself, Melody. The Shoto was found. Cool, I got a new weapon for the dude. Nice, I got a drop. Um. Whip. Who got it? Who got it? I gotta find who got it and give it to him. Let's see. Give. There it is. There it is. I see ya. What is that? Increases speed value. Oh, nice. What does the garlic do? Increases. Is that like temporary or permanent? Anyway, um, let's give that to Rody. Equip it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do want to equip it. Limited inventory space. Alright. Well, that should be a decent little upgrade. Now, let's heal up Melody before we continue. Boop, boop, boop. Here we go. Oh, snap. It's a tree ant. Oh, boy. Alright. All right, all right, all right, all right, we got this, we got this. He should be vulnerable to fire because he's wood. We'll see about that, though. You know what, her attacks suck, but I'm still gonna... Ah! I need to kind of save her healing. I need to save it. I, need, I mean, I need to save her mana for healing. Oh, nice attack. Oh, God. It hit everybody. Hmm. Come on, man. Not good. All right. Hopefully he doesn't do that attack every freaking turn that he gets. Okay, 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 okay. Oh wait, let's see what his new attack is with his new sword. It's probably really good now. And... got the hill. Eh, it's better than it was. That was a critical hit though. Which he does a lot of those. No! Dude! Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I mean, I'm gonna run out of them for him. Back in business. Tales of Fantasia was awesome, dude. They did re-release it on... Um... It was like a remake on the Game Boy Advance? Am I remembering right? Something like that? I think it was on the Game Boy Advance. Okay, okay. Let's let him do his regular attack. Let's get her in on some of this. We need to kill this guy and get back to town. Guy's like a freaking boss. Come on, die. Die. You abomination. No. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. He hit everybody. He sure did. All right. <clears throat> All right. I'm just going to have to take a little bit of a risk here. I'm going to have to hit, hit, 
and health. There we go, alright. Made it a lot further this time. Oh sweet. Oh sweet. Level 4, here we go. Yeah, I remember that dude. I, um, you know, they, fans made a translation for it. Um, and I played it, and I remember the, the voiceovers and everything. Pretty crazy for a Super Nintendo game, dude. I probably should have healed when I wasn't in battle. That would have been smart. That would have been, would have been the smart thing to do. Okay, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. This guy's not that bad. As long as we don't get another one of those tree guys. If we do, we'll have to run. What? What the heck is that? Okay, not too bad. Alright, um, give him an attack, I'll chill him up a little bit. It's the last heal I can do with her. I have to rely on items till we get back. Ooh. Go ahead and take this guy out. He's got to be almost dead. He's not that tough. There we go. There we go. It's crazy how in this game you can really tell by looking at it that it was made by the Golden Sun guys. Like you can just tell. Okay. Um, yeah, we should be alright. some slowdown. Right. Dang it. Not the pond. Not the pond. I'm trying to get back to town. Oh wait, I got a map. I got a map. How do I do that? Whoa, I'm this deep in? No. No. Really? Didn't seem like it was that far away. Well, dang it. How's my guys doing? That's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, they're still okay. We're still good. Yeah, we're going the right way. Oh boy. It's gonna be a rough journey back. I think we'll be alright though. And I'm gonna burn through this though. Once again, hitting the healer. Power attack, there we go. Brody's getting a little low, but we're getting a little low on stuff here, so. And I think we're about to head back into the really easy stuff. If I'm still going the right way, yep. 
So, we should be okay. Especially, we've leveled up. Nope, going the wrong way, need to back up and go that way. Here we go. Now we're close. Definitely remember all this. So interesting. Whoop, up, 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 up. Still going the right way? Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Not bad. Not bad. Let's get back in here. Heal up. And we can probably upgrade our equipment, and we're getting pretty close. I might have to come back one more time, and then I think we'll be good enough to probably clear the forest. Welcome to Zyre Village Inn. I raised seven gold coins, blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoy games where it's so hard that you have to, like, be careful. You have to return to town. You can't afford your stuff. You have to save up. You have to go back and upgrade your gear. You know, it just lengthens the game, I know, but it's fun to me. I am a sucker for grinding. Alright, now, where was that? This is it, this is it. Somebody didn't get their gear upgraded. Who was it? Was it Rody? Who's that for again? No, that's for him. That's an upgrade, though. Somebody didn't get an upgrade. Maybe he wears leather, I bet. Or scale, whatever. Yeah, because I was mad because I had scale on him and I sold it. Yep, that's right, that's right. Alright, whatever, dude. Sucks I gotta bite again. The leather. Yeah. Um. What else he got? Tell you what would help, though. Do these have stats on them? Let's see what they say. That, okay, they're just defense stats. Alright, I'm going to, uh... I'm gonna check out the weapons, cause... We're doing some pretty crappy damage around here. What weapons? Blah, 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 we need... We got Rody's upgrade, which was Chodo. I'm gonna go and get the middle sword. Can we afford both? Uh, probably not. Let's go and get the main guy. Because my healer mostly heals anyway. Wait a minute, I didn't see stats on that. Was that actually an upgrade? Oh dang it, I bought it. Too late. Let's go and equip it then. Dude, I'm not trying to talk to you. Because I didn't even see stats. Hopefully that was an upgrade. Surely that was an upgrade. No, not use. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my god, it was the one I started the game with. Crap. Or no, wait a minute. He's dual wielding. That's why his uh, attack is so good. I wonder if I can. Uh, what is this? Is this a warrior knife? Oh, let's uh, see if I can dual wield two of these. Yeah, no, no, I can't. I can probably 
If I wear that, I can do a shield, is that correct? No, I can do the shield and... Oh man, I bought that for no reason. That sucks. Oh well. Can't cry with sport milk now. I don't even know how to save the freaking game. Does it just save automatically? I'm gonna Google this, because I definitely don't want to turn this game off. Let me Google that real quick. Let's see here, um... How do you save? Alright, let's see. What? So apparently you can only save in a church. I didn't see a church here. Are you serious? They don't even let you save in the game yet? That is freaking brutal, dude. That is freaking brutal. I can't believe it. Hang on, I'm just checking to see if that's actually accurate. Apparently so. That's just how it is. So, alright then. Wow. Okay. There's no church. This guy looks kind of like a priest. Oh my goodness, dude. I can't believe it. You can't save. So this game is legitimately, it's not what I'm trying to do. This game is legitimately not saved yet. That's a wild, man. I mean, dude, you could easily die at <laughs> what I'm doing right now, like, easily. I'm actually making it much further and deeper into this than it seemed like when I looked at the, dang it. I looked at the map. Right? Yep. Which way was it? Yes, that way. Much better, much better. So, now we're getting to a point where maybe we can make it through this time. Gosh, there's freaking green crap on the screen. Makes me get lost so much easier, I can't see. Alright, here we go. Quit doing that, can't see. Alright, this guy's a jerk. This guy right here. Two points of damage. Worthless. What's he doing? Dang, dude. At least he hit my tank. I'll take it. Then he hits my healer twice. Dang it, dude. Uh, 
definitely gonna heal. All right, all right, all right, all right. Magic, melody, do your heal. We're going the right way. Yep. One hit kill. Finish him off. Finish him off, cleric. No, he dodged it. There we go. Thank you, Rody. Thank you, Rody. One more hit on him. Okay, okay, okay. This is definitely much smoother than our first run through here. That's good. Okay, okay. Gosh. Wish I could see. Still going the right way. But you know, that guy told us to meet him in the graveyard, not the pond. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. We got a new mob. Alright. I'm gonna go all out on this guy. Screw this guy. Come on, tear him up. Alright, at least he hit the tank. My guys are hitting him pretty good. Can't last too much longer. Seven points of damage. We could use a heal. There we go. All right. Decent amount of experience there too. Let's go ahead and uh, heal my main guy. Our. everybody doing we have um, 110 48 30 so they still got a, quite a bit to go to level up all right going into oh lord ah this guy's brutal does that freaking attack where he hits everybody you know what gonna let her defend until she needs a heal. There you go. These guys are hitting pretty heavy. There it is. Okay, alright. Not bad. Ah, I meant to make her defend. Oh well. Well, I don't want to waste her MP. Oh, come on. Ah, 
That hurt. Okay, 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 dude, I'll see. I don't think he has any. No, he don't. Should have gave him some. Here's what we're gonna have to do. Let her heal herself. attack let him attack and let's well hang on hang on hang on no no need to use that I need to give all those items she has to Rody there we go I was about to say I knew he had to be almost dead he gives a lot of experience though okay so now let's finish up that heal I was gonna do Napalm. Okay. Moving into unknown territory. Actually, I think we're about to leave this map. Let's go ahead and move. How is it you do that? Possessions. Uh, give. Let's give some of her healing stuff to Rody. And that one too. All right, new territory, it looks like. Oh, what is that? The obelisk. It says, Monument to Courageous Pixies. Huh. Interesting. So this is the pond. What's that over there? a sign. Let's see what it says. To the cemetery. That's where we're meeting the guy at. Alright, there's also a path over there, but I know this is where we're supposed to meet the guy. Check the tree. It's just a trunk. Check the tombstone. Looks like an ordinary tombstone. Ah, Lee's glitching out in here. Check the tree. Hey, where's my friend at? He's supposed to meet me here, dude. He stood me up, man. That's to leave, right? Yeah. That's a dead end. Alright, I don't think we went this way, right? Yeah, we did. Is that all the ways? Looks like it. Okay, so this was a bust. Dude's not here. Let's try the other path. Oh, dang it. Alright. that MP with him. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, Rody. You're gonna be alright. This guy gave good XP too. Yeah, pretty good. That green stuff makes it so hard to see. Which way am I even going? Okay, 
Okay, must need to go over here then. Anything over that way? Doesn't look like it. Right? Yep. Alright. Ooh, treasure. Treasure! Oh, snap. I forgot to heal that guy. It'll be alright. Yeah, this guy don't have a ton of hit points, so... A couple of rounds... Next turn, they'll kill him, probably. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see what's in this treasure chest, though. Alright, Melody! Learn a new spell, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe not? Open the treasure chest, what we got? A cookie? It sure is, a lucky cookie. Now what in the world is that for? You might as well see if this stuff is permanent stats. It's gotta be, right? Use the lucky... Yeah, it is, it's permanent. I... It's permanent stats. Okay, so, let's just use all these then. No reason sitting by all doing nothing. And I got stat upgrades to do. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That's pretty good then. A permanent stat increase. You can't argue with that. Man, now come on. Is this really all there is here? Yep. So I must have missed something in the graveyard. I bet you I should have inspected something in there. Gotta be. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I see what I did wrong. I see. I see. Because the guy told me to meet him in the graveyard. Like, when a game tells you, go to this place, that's where you freaking go. Like, come on now. Alright. I didn't... I thought... I thought I looked at everything. It's just so hard to tell with that green stuff. Okay, back up. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh boy, I'm getting a little freaked out. I'm getting a little freaked out by that. You guys see that? I'm getting a little freaked out. Ah, how's my stats look? How's everybody look? Because I'm getting freaked out. Not that. How's everybody look? 22. He could use a little something something. He could use a little... Go ahead and get him up to par. <laughs> I just know it's a boss, and he's gonna be brutal. And I don't know how to use the fairy. I'm gonna hit every button known to man. Oh lord, I was right. Oh crap. Come on, up, oh, use the fairy. Nope, I don't know how to do it. All right. Um. Whoo. Why is Melody in the middle again? Why does it do that? Um. Yeah, how about you just defend? 12 points of damage, alright, alright. Come on, Rody. Critical hit. 10. Alright, I'll take it. Go easy! Whew, good thing she defended. Alright. <clears throat> keep defending until we need you to heal. And let's just keep doing what we're doing. It's decent. 12. Another 10. There we go. Freeze. Come on. Don't actually freeze them though. I don't think it did. No status effect, I don't think. Hey, what's up, Remy D? Welcome, welcome, man. Hope everybody's having a Merry Christmas. Christmas Eve, I'm playing Shining the Holy Ark, a very old Sega Saturn game. Dungeon Crawler. It's fantastic. It's hard. It's got me terrified. Alright, so, um... Let's keep her defending. 
I feel like he can like one shot her. We can't do this too many more times, so let's keep it going while we can. We're fighting a boss also, I'd like to mention Remedy. The Lingering Ghost. Oh, speed. He lowered his speed stats. He's debuffing us, guys. This is a Necro. Look at a Necro. Okay, um... This is like, yeah, this is like the last time he can do that. And dude, I've been playing for hours, and there's not even been an option to save yet. Can you believe that? Can you believe they were that brutal back in the day? In 1995. No save! It's been hours! Freaking terrifying, dude. Okay, let's let her heal herself up. And, uh, which sucks, because now her defense is down, but I can't help it. We're down to attacks now. No, no, Melody Hill, no. Okay, that hit Rody. Man, this is rough. Rody moves really quick. He usually is like the first to strike, so I'm gonna let him heal himself. This round, get her to defend, and uh, yeah, he can heal his dang self. You know what I'm saying? There we go. <sighs> She's got to keep defending. I can't let her die. He's all right now. We can get back to attacking with him. He does decent damage. We got 12 from my main guy. Got eight. It's not bad. It's not bad. Quit freezing, dude. Oh my God. Oh, she defended it pretty well. She did. She did good. She did good. All right. Let's keep it going. Just like that. Come on, you can't have too many more hit points. I've been wearing them out for a minute here. We haven't even got to save. Come on. Oh, that that's not even doing damage. That's the speed debuff. Alright, so, um, you keep doing that all you want, dude. You keep that right up. Come on, kill him. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. We, we're definitely at a good level for this. Whoops, whoops. I don't know. I feel like I should just let her get some attacks in. This ain't too bad. No, it's not real time. It's just turn based. Did get that speed deep up off. I feel like it, he's. I feel like he's close. I feel like we're about. Oh, 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 oh my God! He almost took him up my healer. Okay, she needs to go back to defending. She had the, can't be taking risks like that. So here's what I'm gonna do. Cause he moves before her a lot of the times, so I can't risk it. Um, Rody usually goes first, so I'm gonna have her defend, and I'm gonna go ahead and get him to heal her. We can't let the healer die. Well, what do you know? What do you know? As soon as I get all freaked out, he dies. Alright, 88 gold, the energy bread, and 39 experience. Wow. That's a lot for where we're at. Rody leveled up. Sleep magic. He got sleep magic. Cool. Boss. Boss. You're the halfling from yesterday. Why? That guy does... What? It's not a halfling. Aren't you? You you make us go through all that hassle, then don't even show your face? How rude. Boss, I've been waiting for you. Who are you calling boss, and who are you? Boss. <laughs> boss, I'm glad to see you looking well. I heard that you were in that cave-in at the mine. 
so I didn't expect to see you again. You are one of my men? Did you come to rescue me? He has amnesia. Classic. Boss, what happened? Have you forgotten me? Me, Doyle. <laughs> These people have terrible names. <laughs> I can't help it. It's like Lisa, the Paladin, Doyle. I mean, those aren't terrible names, but for <laughs> a JRPG, it just feels very bizarre. It's me, Doyle, the incomparably swift. I entered my head, and since then, I can't remember much. Or anything, clearly. I can't believe you forgot me, Doyle. Or you forgot me. Doyle, you forgot me! Doyle! Me! Your right-hand man! That's too cruel. It's not like he had any choice in the matter. Rody injured his head in the cave-in and lost his memory. <laughs> Mike says I should read him in different voices. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Alright, so here's this guy's voice because, you know, he's like a big, like, gruffly wolf guy. Even though they call him a halfling. Now I understand. That's the reason why you didn't acknowledge me at the pub. By the way, who are you two? Do I know you? We are the mercenaries hired by Enric to capture Rhodey! <laughs> it's the best female impression I can do. Boss, run! These people are your enemies! Wait, wait a minute! The situation has changed! Come back down here, it's okay! If they want to turn me in, they would have done so by now. That's Rhodey's voice. <laughs> um, you're right. Well then, boss, what are you going to do? We are going to find and help our comrade, Forte, who was taken to Enric Castle. We must stay together. Because, well, there's a good reason behind it. So I'm going to I'm going with them to Enric Castle. Going to Enric Castle. Boss, beware. This guy's ridiculous. He's like jumping every every time he talks like whoosh, whoosh. Those people intend to turn you in, Enric. <coughs> I think his voice hurts my throat. Turn you into Enric by taking advantage of your loss of memory. Doyle is rather suspicious, isn't he? What shall we do, Napalm? <coughs> Explaining things to him certainly doesn't seem to very, be very useful. But we should ask him about the secret path. Doyle, tell me something. Where's the secret path to Enric, and how can we get through? <coughs> Boss, are you going with them anyway? Damn! I can't say no to one of your requests. You can get to Enric by passing through here, then through the deep forest. Are you really going? Well, well then, at least take this. <laughs> what are you doing? Isn't Rody your boss? Be quiet. This isn't something for a woman or a child to stick their nose in. If you go to Enric Castle with your bare face hanging out, it's dead certain you will be caught. If you must go, use this mask. Just in case. I'll keep the key. Hey, you two. Take care of my boss. Why don't you come with us, dude? Remember that I'm a ninja who can appear and disappear anywhere and any time I wish. I'll be watching you at all times, so don't try anything, or we'll both regret, or you'll, or yeah, or we'll both regret it later. He's gone. What are you going to do about that iron mask? <laughs> Actually, it's a quite clever idea, and it suits our plan quite rather well. That's not what he said, but whatever. Let's get going. Yeah, he did, dude. D dude, this is, uh, this is Shining the Holy Ark, which is kind of, it's kind of like the dungeon crawler version of Shining Force. 
It's fantastic, man. It was on the Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn missed out by many people because it was on the Sega Saturn. Napalm checked the stone coffin. You know what? Guys, I need to save. This is getting insane. I am so ridiculously hours deep and I can't say this is unbelievable it's unbelievable I'm gonna go even deeper now without being able to save yeah man a lot of people miss this game because you know Sega Saturn a lot of people didn't have one I did I love this game I played this back in the day um, I'm gonna look this up I know I would have never forgotten about that save situation. There has to be a save. There has to be somewhere to save. <clears throat> I'm looking it up now. The only save locations are the churches inside of towns. Look up Desire Village and make sure I didn't miss. This is a, there's got to be a priest there or something. This is unbelievable. Yeah, it says go straight to the church. Yeah, it says when you get there, there's a church. Huh. interesting okay I'm gonna have to go back I gotta figure out where this church is I'm missing it somehow um, <clears throat> oh whoops oh wait I need to I can't see the chat now <laughs> all right love you wife winter good night I'll, I'll I'm, I'm trying to save um, and then I'm, I may I may log off at that point I'm not sure Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, we're not gonna go in there yet. We're not going deeper without saving. I'm gonna, um, how is my health after that fight? <clears throat> oh, I think it, no, it didn't heal me, but my guys are pretty good. Pretty good! get back to that freaking to that freaking town man wait it's this way I think <clears throat> yeah here we go here we go and then it was over here look at that beautiful pond I forgot until you said that. Oh, this is that other weird little path. I forgot until you said that, dude, how expensive the Sega Saturn actually was. It was, a, like, outrageously expensive. But I think they but I think they lowered the price kind of quickly because they realized the PlayStation was going to completely destroy them, which it did anyway. I wonder what that green thing is I'm seeing. I wonder if that's, like, supposed to be a light effect that's glitching. <clears throat> a glitch like that I would have remembered. Well dang, now there's four of them. So this game, it feels like this game knows that I'm a higher level so it's making it harder. You know, because I've never seen more than two of these before. Not really worried about it, but interesting. Hey, good luck, Mike. Good luck wrapping all the presents, man. And peace out, man. You have a good one. And Merry Christmas to you, man. Oh, a treasure. Am I going somewhere I've never been before?
see what's in this treasure, man. And <clears throat> we've been getting like stat upgrades in them. It's freaking fantastic. Oh, snap. Man, this guy's hard. No! Alright. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Ah, wait, what's this? Sleep. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. It'd be funny if he went to sleep. I'd be freaking mad. Ah, I hate this guy. I should have made her defend. Go to sleep, go to sleep. It worked! It worked! It freaking worked! I wonder if I hit him if it would just wake him up. Nope, says he's asleep. Sweet! Oh yeah, I love it. That is a root from back in the day, by the way. I will be dreaming that music tonight. <laughs> You're right. And I'll be dreaming of this guy. And no save points for six hours deep in the game. Like, this is terrifying, dude. Power attack. There you go. There you go, dude. Get in there. Get in there. And it hits everybody. There we go. Alright, he's much easier than he was before. That guy used to be really hard. Let's get my treasure. What we got? What we got? Ah, oh, sweet. And revive. Angel wing, which revives us. A dead character. Let's see which way I'm even going here. Okay. This way. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. We're getting close now. Sort of. Is it that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't been over there. There's nothing over there. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're about to get the save. Dang it. Man, it turns way too fast sometimes. Like it's turned that way. Almost there. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Finally, I can save if I can figure out where the heck the church is. Is it over there? Where's the church? Dude, I am so certain I did not miss the church in here. I looked... We went to every single... Hang on. There's no map, so... <clears throat> what am I missing here? Oh, man... Oh man, look. Are you freaking serious? Are you freaking serious? I've been taking this giant risk of not saving the game at all. <laughs> like, I haven't saved the whole game. Oh my gosh. My dog has disappeared. I only looked away for a second, but then he was gone. Can you find my jabby? It would be easy for you, right? Sure, I'll find your jabby. Really? Then, um, um, I'll wait for you here. Thank you. Go look for your jabby. Whatever, dude. Oh my gosh. It is so nice to see this beautiful church. I am so happy to be here. Let's see what these people got to talk about. We got Massel here. Many people lost their lives while they were working in Desire Mine a long time ago. Our priest works very hard to comfort the spirits of the departed. The cave-in at the mine was caused by the anger of the gods at the soldiers' trespassing of its sacred environs. The anger of the... Oh, it's... 
the sky turned black as the sun vanished, and then we knew that we would be punished for the violation of the mine. We did not learn our lesson from the first time, when we mined for gold. Let's go ahead and save this crap. If you need anything from our humble church, please beseech me. Well, I do. I need to save. This is the Holy Church of Desire. All of Zod's children are welcome here. What is it that you seek? Alright, so we can save, we can cure, we can change class. What? No one is eligible to change your class. Interesting, though. And revive. Cure? Is that like... I'm glad to tell you that everyone's healthy. Okay. Safe. Let's pray for like a disease. For your adventure? Yes, yes, yes. Look at that, guys. I have not saved yet. That's crazy. <laughs> your adventure has been saved. Do you want to continue your adventure? You know what, guys? This is a good point to stop. If I continue streaming for too much longer, my wife will flip out, and I don't want to cause you guys to have to see that. So, I will spare you. So, I'm going to log out. I really appreciate Hope you guys enjoyed playing this uh, old school classic. Um, once tomorrow, uh, the kids, you know, um, yeah, yeah, grand the big church reveal. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, if you guys, uh, yeah, it really is a lot like the other Shining Force games take away. It really is. Like, um, that's, that's why I think I got it originally when I was young, when I was a kid, is I just thought it was a Shining Force game. I had no idea that it was going to be all this. I was telling people earlier when I first started, this was like Skyrim to me when I was a kid. Like, I really thought this game was just insane. But you guys have a great Christmas. I will be streaming tomorrow, but it's Christmas. Don't feel obligated to join. I'm just going to be playing more of this game. You can catch me later. Um, I hope everybody has a, a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for joining me on Christmas Eve for this weird little stream of this old school game. And everybody, thank you very much. God bless and happy gaming. I'll talk to you all soon. And now for an awkward pause while I find my Streamlabs. Alright, good night everybody.